To the chosen ones, this is your reminder. You were born into this world with a unique light, a light that shines in ways others cannot fully grasp. When you live in your truth, your authenticity, you radiate an energy that speaks louder than words. It's not always understood, but it is always felt. Your presence alone is powerful. It stirs something deep within people. For some, it brings healing, clarity, and a deep sense of peace. But for others, it can be unsettling. They aren't ready to face the truths you represent. But remember, this duality isn't a reflection of you. It's a reflection of where they are in their own journey. As a chosen one, your authenticity is your gift. You don't need to force healing upon anyone. By simply being yourself, you act as a beacon of light. Your energy is pure, unfiltered, and it naturally uplifts those around you. It inspires transformation. Those who are open to growth find comfort and clarity in your presence. Your authenticity carries a frequency that aligns with the deepest parts of others' souls. When you show up as your true self, you remind people of their own potential for growth and healing. You don't need to say a word for your energy to be felt. Your existence alone brings waves of healing energy to those who are ready to receive it. There's a reason you may find others feeling more at peace in your presence. It's not because you're doing anything outwardly. It's because your authenticity creates an atmosphere of ease and truth. When people see you living your truth unapologetically, it gives them permission to start living in theirs. They begin to drop their pretenses, opening their hearts and minds to new possibilities for their lives. You are a walking catalyst for transformation. The people you encounter are drawn to your energy like moths to a flame. They may not even understand why they feel lighter or more hopeful when they're around you. It's because your authenticity aligns them with the highest version of themselves. By simply existing as you are, you create a ripple effect of healing and self-empowerment. This healing you provide is subtle yet profound. It's not about giving advice or guiding others directly, but about showing them what's possible when they step into their truth. You become a living example of freedom, and those who are ready are naturally drawn into that light. In your presence, they begin to shed layers of societal conditioning that have weighed them down for years. The Chosen Ones are natural healers, but not in the conventional sense. You heal by example. By being free, you inspire others to seek their own liberation. They feel safe in your presence, not because you offer them solutions, but because your authenticity shines a light on the path they could take themselves. Your freedom is contagious to those who are open. Your energy operates on a frequency that transcends words, actions, or traditional healing methods. It's not about what you do, but who you are. And in being your true self, you are healing the collective. Those who are prepared will feel uplifted by your presence and their journey toward healing will accelerate. You don't have to force this. It happens effortlessly when you embrace your authenticity. Keep in mind that this power to heal isn't something that can be controlled or manipulated. It's a natural part of your energy. When you stand in your truth, you create an energetic space that allows others to do the same. In that space, healing is inevitable for those who are ready. Your authenticity is a gift to the world, even when you don't realize it. We are in a time of collective awakening. Humanity is yearning for truth, for wisdom, for authenticity. And you, chosen ones, play a crucial role in this grand shift. Your authenticity is not just for you. It's a healing force that the world desperately needs. The world is shifting, and more people are waking up to the truth of who they are. This collective awakening is more than just a trend. It's a profound transformation. People are shedding the societal masks they've worn for so long. They're craving authenticity and truth. And you, chosen ones, are at the forefront of this awakening. You're not just witnesses to this shift. You are catalysts. Your role is to live your truth so boldly that it inspires others to do the same. The collective is looking for leaders, not in the conventional sense, but in those who embody the truth of their existence. Your authenticity shines a light on the path to freedom for others. This awakening is not just about individuals. It's about the collective consciousness rising to a higher state of being. The more you live authentically, the more you contribute to this elevation. Every time you step into your power, 
You create an energetic shift that reverberates throughout the collective. Your actions, your choices, your very being are contributing to the global shift toward truth. In a world filled with illusions, your authenticity is like a breath of fresh air. It cuts through the noise, the distractions, and the falsehoods that so many have been living under. When people see you, they are reminded that they don't have to conform. They realize that they too can be free. Your example gives others permission to question the status quo and search for their own truth. As more people awaken, the collective consciousness expands. This expansion brings healing, but it also brings challenges. Some are ready to embrace this new reality, while others may resist. But whether they are ready or not, your role is to continue standing in your truth. You are helping to birth a new world by simply being yourself, and the ripple effects of your authenticity are felt far beyond your immediate surroundings. The collective awakening is not happening by chance. It's happening because souls like yours are stepping into their truth. You are setting a new standard for what it means to be human. You are showing the world that authenticity is not just possible, but essential for true freedom. As more people awaken, the world begins to shift from fear to love, from illusion to truth. Your non-conformity is a gift to the collective. It empowers others to break free from the molds they've been trapped in. The more authentic you are, the more you give others the courage to embrace their own uniqueness. You are part of a divine plan to uplift humanity, and your authenticity is the key to unlocking this transformation. Remember, chosen ones, you are here for a reason. The collective is waking up, and your authenticity is leading the way. The world is watching, and those who are ready to awaken are looking to you for guidance, guidance that you provide simply by being who you are. But not everyone is ready for this shift. Your light, while healing, can also be intimidating. For those who aren't ready to face themselves, your presence can feel like a mirror, reflecting back everything they've been avoiding. While your authenticity is healing to many, it can be equally intimidating to others. Some people have spent their entire lives hiding behind masks, conforming to societal expectations and avoiding deep self-reflection. When they encounter someone like you, someone who lives in complete alignment with their truth, it can be unsettling. It's not that they dislike you personally, it's that your energy exposes what they've been trying to hide. Your presence forces them to confront parts of themselves they've been avoiding. For those who aren't ready to face these truths, your authenticity can feel like a threat, not because of anything you've done, but because of what you represent. You may notice that people who are not prepared to face themselves often react in strange ways around you. Some may avoid you, keeping their distance without explanation. Others might project their insecurities onto you, judging or criticizing you for the very qualities they admire but are afraid to embrace within themselves. There may be those who are drawn to you but don't know how to handle the intensity of your authenticity. They may admire you from afar, silently wishing they could live with the same freedom you do, but fear holds them back. This admiration often comes with a layer of jealousy or resentment, not because they hate you, but because they're grappling with their own limitations. It's important to remember that these reactions have nothing to do with your worth or value. They are reflections of where others are on their own journey. Some people simply aren't ready to face the truth, and your authenticity acts as a mirror that forces them to see what they've been hiding. It's not personal, it's spiritual. The more you live in your truth, the more you may find that certain people naturally distance themselves from you. This isn't something to take personally. It's part of the process. As you continue to shine your light, those who aren't ready for that level of authenticity may retreat, while those who are ready will come closer. You might also notice that your energy stirs up insecurities in others. Your freedom reminds them of their own self-imposed limitations. They may feel triggered by your ability to live authentically, because it highlights where they've been playing small in their own lives. While this can create distance, it also plants a seed of potential for their future growth. Remember, chosen ones, that not everyone will understand you, and that's okay. Your role isn't to be liked or accepted by everyone. It's to live in alignment with your soul's truth. Some will be inspired by you, 
while others may feel intimidated. Either way, you are fulfilling your purpose by being yourself. For those of you who are ready to take that next step, to truly own your power and align with those who understand the path you're on, there's a place for you. The Obsidian Inner Circle, partnered with Astral Atom. But I have to warn you, it is not a space for the faint-hearted or those seeking approval. If you're still caught up in needing everyone to like or understand you, this isn't your path. The chosen ones who belong here don't chase validation. They live in alignment with their divine truth, unbothered by those who can't keep up. Inside the inner circle, we don't sugarcoat reality. We strip away the need for acceptance and replace it with the unshakable power of knowing your worth. The truth is, some will envy you, some will admire you, but either way, they can't ignore you. If you're looking for comfort or hand-holding, this isn't your place. But if you're ready to step into your power, surrounded by those who get it, this is where you belong. The link is in the description. For some, living authentically is terrifying. They fear judgment, rejection, and the vulnerability that comes with standing out. Those who cling to societal norms, who are trapped in people-pleasing and approval-seeking, may find your freedom deeply unsettling. The fear of authenticity runs deep in many people. We live in a world that conditions us to seek approval, to fit in, and to conform to expectations that are often not our own. For many, the idea of living authentically is terrifying because it requires vulnerability. It means standing out, and with that comes the fear of judgment. People who live their lives in constant pursuit of approval often fear rejection more than anything else. They've built their identity around external validation, and the thought of stepping into their true selves feels like a risk too great to take. When they encounter someone like you, who lives freely and unapologetically, it challenges everything they've believed about how they should live. Your authenticity can feel like a threat to those who are still trapped in the illusion of people-pleasing. It reminds them that they are living inauthentically and that realization can be painful. They may not be ready to face the fact that they've been living a lie, and so instead of embracing their own truth, they project their fears onto you. This fear of authenticity often manifests as criticism or judgment. People may try to tear you down because your freedom highlights the areas where they are still imprisoned. They may gossip, spread negativity, or distance themselves from you, all because your authenticity reminds them of what they have yet to embrace within themselves. It's important to understand that this fear is not about you. It's about the inner conflict they are experiencing. When people see you living authentically, it creates a cognitive dissonance within them. They want the same freedom, but they are too afraid to claim it. Rather than face that fear, they may choose to criticize or avoid you instead. For those who are still caught in the web of societal expectations, your authenticity shines a light on their deepest insecurities. They fear standing out because they've been taught that blending in is the safest option. But you, chosen one, represent the opposite of that belief. You stand out boldly, and in doing so you challenge the very fabric of their identity. Your authenticity is a mirror, and for those who fear judgment, that mirror is difficult to face. It reflects back to them all the ways they have conformed, all the ways they've betrayed their own soul in an attempt to fit in. This fear of being truly seen for who they are can be overwhelming, and that's why they react the way they do. But know this, your authenticity is exactly what they need, even if they can't see it yet. You are showing them that it's possible to live a life free from the constraints of societal expectations. You are planting seeds of awakening, even in those who are most resistant. And one day, they may look back and realize that your example was the catalyst for their own transformation. Your presence is disruptive. You challenge the status quo simply by existing in your truth. And while you don't intend to confront others, your authenticity naturally calls them to look within. There is an undeniable power in your presence. You don't have to say a word, but your energy speaks volumes. When you enter a room, people notice, even if they can't explain why. It's not about what you do, but about who you are. Your authenticity radiates a frequency that disrupts the status quo. People are used to living in a world of pretense, where masks are the norm. 
But when they encounter someone like you, who lives unapologetically in their truth, it shakes them. Your presence alone forces people to confront their own insecurities, their own fears, and their own desires. It's not something you do intentionally, it's a natural byproduct of being authentic. This power can feel overwhelming to those who are not ready to face themselves. They may feel uncomfortable around you, not because of anything you've done, but because your energy challenges them to look within. Your presence disrupts the facade they've been living behind, and that can be unsettling for those who are not ready to embrace their truth. But your presence also inspires. For those who are on the cusp of awakening, your authenticity is like a breath of fresh air. It gives them permission to be themselves. It shows them that there is another way to live, one that is free from the constraints of societal expectations. Your energy opens the door for others to step into their own power. You don't have to actively try to change anyone. Simply by existing as you are, you create a space where others are called to rise to meet their highest potential. Your presence challenges them to let go of their fears, to stop hiding, and to embrace the truth of who they are. It's a quiet yet powerful force that shifts the energy around you. This is the power of authenticity. It doesn't need to be loud or forceful. It simply is. And in being, it transforms the world around it. You may not always see the effects of your presence, but know that it is felt. You are making an impact just by being yourself, and that impact is more profound than you may realize. For those who are ready, your presence is a gift. It helps them remember who they are at their core. It sparks something deep within them, a desire to live more authentically, to let go of their fears, and to step into their truth. You are a catalyst for transformation simply by being in the room. So, chosen ones, continue to show up as your authentic self. Your presence alone is enough to create change. You don't need to force it, explain it, or justify it. Just be. The world will adjust to your energy, and those who are ready will be drawn to you. Your authenticity is a powerful force, and it's leading the way to a new reality. There is a solitude that comes with being authentic. In a world where so many hide behind facades, Walking your own path can feel isolating. It's not always easy to connect deeply with others when they don't know how to approach someone who doesn't conform. Being a chosen one comes with a unique kind of loneliness. When you live authentically, you naturally set yourself apart from the majority of society. While many are still hiding behind masks, you've chosen to strip yours away. This level of authenticity can make it difficult to form deep connections with others especially those who are still caught in the web of societal expectations. You may find that people don't know how to approach you. Your energy is different. You don't conform to the usual social dynamics, and that can make others unsure of how to interact with you. They may admire you from afar, but hesitate to get too close, not because they don't like you, but because they don't know how to engage with someone who isn't playing by the same rules. This can lead to feelings of isolation. As a chosen one, you may sometimes feel like you're walking a lonely path. The people around you may not fully understand or appreciate the depth of your journey. You may crave deeper connections, but struggle to find others who are on the same wavelength. It's a common experience for those who choose to live authentically. But this loneliness is not a punishment, it's a sign of your uniqueness. You are walking a path that few have the courage to take, and that naturally sets you apart. While the solitude can be difficult at times, it's also a testament to your strength and your commitment to living in alignment with your soul. It's important to remember that this loneliness is temporary. As more people awaken and begin to shed their own masks, you will start to attract those who resonate with your energy. The deeper connections you seek are coming, but they will be with people who truly see and appreciate you for who you are. Until then, embrace the solitude as a part of your journey. During this time of solitude, you have the opportunity to deepen your relationship with yourself. You're learning to rely on your own inner guidance, to find peace in your own company, and to trust in your path. This is a powerful phase of growth that will ultimately lead to even greater fulfillment and connection. While it may feel lonely at times, know that you are never truly alone. There are others like you, other chosen ones who are walking similar paths. 
You may not have found them yet, but they are out there. And as you continue to live authentically, you will begin to cross paths with those who understand and appreciate your journey. The loneliness of authenticity is real, but it is also a sign that you are on the right path. You are carving out a space for yourself in a world that often discourages true individuality. Keep going. The connections you seek will come in divine timing, and when they do, they will be deeper and more fulfilling than anything you've experienced before. Chosen ones, continue to shine. Your authenticity is not a burden, it's a blessing. Yes, it may make others uncomfortable, but that discomfort is part of their awakening. Those who are ready for your light will find you. There will be times when you feel the weight of your authenticity. You may question whether it's worth it, whether you should continue shining so brightly when it seems to make others uncomfortable. But remember, chosen ones, your light is not a burden. It's a blessing to the world, even when it challenges those around you. The discomfort others feel in your presence is not a reflection of your worth. It's a reflection of their own journey. Your authenticity is a catalyst for their awakening, and sometimes awakening comes with discomfort. But that discomfort is necessary for growth. You are planting seeds of transformation, even if you can't always see the results right away. It's important to stay true to yourself, even when others are intimidated by your light. You are not here to dim yourself for the comfort of others. You are here to lead by example, to show the world what it means to live authentically and unapologetically. Those who are meant to grow from your light will find their way to you. Not everyone will be ready for your energy, and that's okay. Your role is not to force anyone to awaken. Your role is to live in alignment with your truth, and in doing so, you create an energetic invitation for others to do the same. Those who are ready will rise to meet you, while those who aren't will fall away. This process of shining brightly may come with moments of doubt or insecurity. You may wonder if you're too much, if your authenticity is too intense for others to handle. But know this, your authenticity is exactly what the world needs right now. You were chosen for this path because you have the strength and the courage to walk it. Continue to shine, chosen ones, even when it feels lonely, even when others don't understand. Your light is making a difference, even if you can't always see it. You're helping to heal the collective, one soul at a time, simply by being yourself. The world needs your authenticity now more than ever. Trust that those who are meant to be in your life will gravitate toward you. They will see your light and recognize it as something they've been searching for. And when they do, they will appreciate you for exactly who you are. Until then, keep shining. Your authenticity is your superpower, and it's leading the way to a brighter future. Remember this. Your authenticity is both healing and transformative. And though it may cause discomfort, it is a gift that the world needs now more than ever. Continue walking in your truth. Shine brightly, for you are here for a higher purpose, and the world sees is waking up to meet you.